Day 20, good morning. Day 20, we're in Molinesca and we're heading to Kakabalas. A shorter day today, we're only going to do a little over 23 k's. We clocked up um, over 36 yesterday, so yeah. that'll be nice. We met our German friends and uh, they told us about this place. So we decided to walk the extra eight kilometres, which clocked up over 36 k's in yeah. some really, really rough, rough terrain yesterday. Yeah. So we're feeling a bit tender this morning, so we'll have a nice, easy walk. Take it nice and gentle. It's a bit brisk this morning again, but not too bad, and the weather's supposed to be nice today. Mm. So we'll see what the day brings us. Mm. Let's go. Okay. Heading down the hill in search of breakfast. Heading to Pomferrada, which is about another six k's away. Absolutely beautiful morning, sun's coming up again. Just reflecting on the mountains. With any luck, we won't have to walk over these ones. Yet another spectacular Spanish morning. Morning. Got my, got my socks on, I put my gloves again this morning. She's got cold hands, so she's been putting socks on her hands. Socks are good. Ferrada. Uh, looks like there's a festival happening, but we're a little bit early. <laughs> so, so I bet you this place is going to be a hive of activity in another hour or two. At the moment it's relatively quiet, just a few pilgrims around. Quite magnificent castle. So we'll just walk along for a while and try and find somewhere to grab some breakfast. Have a look at our day ahead with regard to terrain and places to stop. It's quite another beautiful place. Spanish women sure do talk fast and a lot. Are we heading in the right direction? I think so. It's like the town's finally starting to wake up. People filing by. One thing about Spain is nobody seems in a hurry. <laughs> nah, further along.
I've had some breakfast. How's your body? Good, really good. Yeah, mine too. Considering yesterday was such a hard day. You've got a short day today, <coughs> so it's good. Yeah, we're traveling pretty well. Yeah. Uh, blisters are sort of under control. Uh, no other real problems, have we? Yeah. So we've been pretty lucky. Compared to some people. Yeah, the yeah. stories we've heard were pretty lucky. So like Denise said, it's a relatively easy walk today. We're walking through a park at the moment. We've just gone through Ponte Ferrada, had some breakfast. Uh, yeah, and all good. Yeah, walking, so, walking by the river. Which is quite lovely. Yeah. just called into the church of a small village nothing special just another small Spanish village but they all have these magnificent churches they range from the monolithic huge cathedrals to these small village churches that are just absolutely spectacular. So if you ever do the Camino, take the time. The cathedrals are great, but these little community churches really are something else. Denise has got herself another souvenir. Not very heavy, it's all right. Uh, we've just passed through Fuente Nuevo, Yes. had a look at the little church there, it was, it was fabulous. So uh, we're just about to get some lunch, which will consist of a bocadilla jamón, a ham baguette, and hopefully a tortilla one. I will see. We are surprised sometimes. made it into Cacapella. We're just having a beer, then we'll go and check into our albergue. Uh, it's been a relatively easy day, so we'll have a shower and go and have a look around. Cheers. in St. James Way Hostel which was a really nice albergue. They had a lovely roof terrace which we made good use of. They also had a traditional Spanish menu of which I had the rabbit stew. Much to Dee's disgust. We booked ahead to this albergue because the previous night we had actually tried four albergues before we found one where we could get a room. So it pays to learn a little bit of Spanish even if it's just enough to get you a room for the night. 
We've had a really good day. So we're going to have a walk around the town until tomorrow, Buen Camino, and we'll see you then.